From day one, people all around world are debating on whether Android is better or iOS. Well, iOS is stable and very well optimized because Apple knows the exact specs of the phone which people are gonna rock it on. Whereas for Android, the strength is the openness of the system. With a little of expertise, developers can make app which can flash a whole new OS on your system. So today we gonna discuss about some of these apps which use the openness of Android system to make our life simpler. So hey guys, this is Samir from Extreme Droid and without any further ado, let's start. The first app on the list is called Solid Explorer. This Android app solves the classic iOS problem of not having a solid way to manage device storage. Well, there are many Explorer apps which can do this, but Solid Explorer is our top because of its capability to navigate through the root directory of a rooted device. Moreover, it also sticks strictly to the Android-only minimal look. The second app on the list is called Crover. Clicking on a link closes the current app and open it up in your default browser. That's normal for all apps lacking an in-all browser. Be it iOS or Android, they work same way. But like I said, Android is very open and creative. Someone got his brain stormed and programmed Chromer. It is pretty much a browser but a rare one, which runs in background in form of bubble and gives apps its own browser. Third, Bobizen iOS users always wonder if there was a way you could record stuff on your screen. But Android allows this and thus app like Mobizen comes to being. Again there are ton of apps which can do this but Mobizen has the capability of recording at 60 fps and has the best user interface and pretty much the only one which worked without crashing. Fourth, Greenify. Smartphone users often complain of some apps which run in background and take over a slot of resources which they want some other apps to access. Surprisingly, there is an app for this too. Greenify helps you clean all those prisky apps. Greenify puts the app in some kind of hibernation mode, which prevents it from accessing your phone resources, bandwidth or suck some battery. Fifth, Muse. iOS users don't even know it but Android provides an ability to put changing background to over phones. This sparked a programmer who made Muse, which is an app that converts an app into a live wallpaper. You can set it to show different slideshows or continuously cycle between different parts of an image. Sixth, uTorrent. Without torrents downloading, huge file is a myth. But for an iOS device, you need a PC, but Android has not only uTorrent, the best torrent downloader, but also BitTorrent and many more, which makes torrent download possible on your phone. 7th, Droop. With so many apps launching voice call options, we need a perfect hub for that. Very time opening, the app is a hack of a deal, so Android's got Droop, an app that allows you to use any of the voice call option from just one place. That's Troop Tyler. 8. Unclouded With so many companies coming up with so many cloud options, we end having many cloud accounts and don't even get to use them to the fullest. So on Android, we have an app called Unclouded. This app is surprisingly a cloud manager which indeed help you use your cloud storage to the fullest. 9. Lightflow this is something which current iOS device cannot even dream cause this app take control of your phone LED and make act differently to different notifications and all these actions are programmable. 10th Avast Smartphone security is now one of the prime motive of companies and this is when the third party companies come up and make apps to protect your life. We have Avast mobile security and antivirus from VPN to complete system scan, everything you dream is here. So basically, this is an all-in-one app which focuses mobile security. The last app on our list is called Nova Launcher and I know many of you are familiar with that. Launcher is a way you make your phone imitate you, which is impossible on iPhone. We here have a ton of launchers on Android but we choose Nova because of its level customizability which is insane. From desktop grid to app drawer measure or completely removing it, that's all in your hand. 
So guys that's it for this video. If you think we had missed any app then do let us know that in the comment section. And if you like this video then do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next one.